Welcome to WebStar Press. What is the difference between CSS Reset and Normalize CSS? CSS Reset removes all default browser styling to provide a clean slate, while Normalize CSS makes browsers render all elements more consistently and in line with modern standards without removing all styles. CSS Reset removes most or all default browser styles, while Normalize CSS preserves useful default styles rather than unstyling everything. CSS Reset requires you to redefine styles for common HTML elements, while Normalize CSS provides a good base for most elements requiring less customization for standard elements. CSS Reset is smaller in size and consists of simple resets while normalized CSS is larger because it includes more nuanced style corrections. CSS Reset is ideal for customized designs starting from blank canvas, while normalized CSS is best for projects that prefer a more out-of-the-box appearance, aligning closely with HTML5 standards. CSS Reset achieves consistency by stripping away all or most styles while normalized CSS aims for consistency by normalizing styles for a wide range of elements across different browsers. CSS Reset may require more maintenance to add back necessary styles, while normalized CSS requires less maintenance as it already includes adjustments for common issues. CSS Reset is subtractive because it removes styles, while normalized CSS is additive because it starts with normalized styles making adjustments as needed. Okay, so how to apply these? To apply CSS Reset, here is what you can do. In CSS file, use this code. So this is before and this is after. For CSS Reset, I will comment these. To apply Normalize CSS, go to its official website. Normalize CSS, a modern HTML5 ready alternative to CSS resets. Normalize CSS makes browsers render all elements more consistently and in line with modern standards. It precisely targets only the styles that need normalizing. You can download Normalize CSS from here and use it in your project. You can also install it via NPM Package Manager as well for React.js and such projects. It is used by Twitter, GitHub, SoundCloud, and more. You can also use it via CDN. From CDN.js, search normalize and here normalize.min.css, copy link tag and paste it in head section of web page. Normalize CSS looks like this. It's larger than our CSS reset code but it's worth it. So CSS Reset provides a blank canvas by removing browser styles, ideal for fully customized designs, whereas normalized CSS standardizes browser styles for better consistency, requiring less customization for a standard appearance. And which one should you use? In my opinion, normalize.css. And where should you use it? If you are using Twitter Bootstrap, Tailwind CSS, or Bulma, you do not need normalized CSS or CSS Reset. Most CSS frameworks use their own normalization styles, sometimes inspired by normalized CSS as well. But if you are developing front-end from scratch without any CSS framework, you need CSS Reset or normalized CSS. In my opinion, normalized CSS. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.